Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, yes, we got something to go over that is incoming for Star Trek Online. But before we do so, do us a huge favor, captains, and hit that like button to help the channel out. But also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to the YouTube bridge. Where we're always on the lookout for like-minded captains to share our love, passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now that said, here we go. Captains, a video just dropped. And oh boy, oh boy, I have a smile on my face. I've had to change my uniform. This is awesome. So what we're going to do is go over this new incoming bundle slash video. And then, of course, give our ECs, drop them, and then at the end, give our conclusion. Captains, I have the biggest smile on my face, if you can't tell, but man, this is awesome. So here we go. could say that we live in interesting times. But even with new struggles, we can always rely on old allies. Because for once, time is on our side. And the more things change, the more they stay the same. We will meet these challenges, as we always have, with determination, ingenuity, and faith in our common purpose. Because against those who would seek to conquer or control or assimilate we have proven over and over again resistance is never Futile. You will become one with the Borg. <sighs> wow, Captains, that was insane. Okay, there is a lot. To break down in this video like a lot I've tried to go over this in my mind how I'm going to go over this in this video but I'm just gonna go with it because captains you know how we roll here on the bridge and we just go do our thing here essentially again for that passion because this is an awesome awesome moment in Star Trek online now we know that they've been importing some ships some starting with like of course the valkyrie fighters coming in to stow as long as, and the whole thing was as long as the 
staff can just kind of make up the models and so they can put in game. These are three ships coming in from previous games. Of course, Captains, we've tried to cover them. The clues here leading up to this. Now we have the confirmation on what this is. So we're again, I'm going to put the volume down on this and kind of start from the beginning. Now, this totally gave me vibes of how Star Trek Starfleet Command started. But this wasn't only the how Star Trek Starfleet Command 3 in particular started, but also some of these older games. Now, in this shot, of course, look at this. We have and this ship I'm not really too familiar with. I've seen it online, but this is the Premonition from Star Trek Armada. And this, this blew me away seeing this. Now, I thought it was a 3 nacelle ship. I'm not sure if that little sort of thing on the top is a nacelle. Captains, if you know, let me know. I did not play this game, but look at this moment. This is insane. So I'm going to guess that that's the console. Is it's, I, I'm guessing again, just a guess that it's going to shoot something. I'm, I'm not sure if that something is at a player ship, an NPC ship, but look, let's look at that again. It fires some sort of projectile to the ship, and boom, it splits it into. And what do we have in the scene? Two Odysseys taken on the board cube. That is absolutely insane. So that is the premonition and now here is of course the game that i wasn't familiar with and i said in the previous video apparently this is star trek dominion wars or something like that to that effect now we see here the defiant getting all shot up but then this ship flies in and just starts kicking aft this ship i was actually introduced to in star trek starfleet command 3 mod the USS Achilles. I just thought it was sort of a ship that was sort of made up by a fan, but it, I, I didn't know it was from the Dominion uh, game there. Now, again, we're going to see this ship in action. Look, it has quad cannons coming. This also had quad cannons in that mod that I played for Star Trek Star of the Command 3, but I believe this is the console right here. Look at that. Who, Captains, you know me. You know me, I love me my quantum torpedoes. Look at the beauty of that. We're definitely going to be messing with this. Now, the only thing I did not like then, and I don't like now, in the USS Achilles, is that deflector. Caps, what does that remind you of? And maybe this is where they took the design cues of the Inquiry. That flat sort of deflector. It's not a grill, but it's kind of wide, and it's just red. But you know what? I'm... I'm it's not a complaint it's just more of a note i'm just saying but man this ship i never thought we would see because i thought it was a fan design but yes this ship actually came from that game dominion wars and it's coming to star trek online the uss achilles and all these scenes we're going to go over again but from where they originally came from and i love how they recreated in so so again this is the uss achilles which is going to be included in this bundle. And next up, this was a surprise to me. I knew of this flying brick, not really interested in it until I saw what this is going to do. This, I didn't realize how small the ship, I thought it was actually bigger, to be honest with you. But of course, this is where we get the Valkyrie fighters from, Star Trek Invasion, of course. I love this shot right here with the Odyssey and the Typhon. I thought it was Typhoon, but it's Typhon. And I love how it's actually small enough that it can like, attach to a starship. And yeah, we're gonna go over that in a little bit, but this totally blew me away. Again, I wasn't really a carrier captain until the battle pancake came, the nebula, the monitor, if you will. This definitely, though it wasn't aesthetically a ship that I liked after seeing what it does, especially here, which I believe it's going to be its console. Like, I wouldn't think that they would not show this. I love how there's like a little procedure doing this. But look at this. This console is a Faw Symphony. Look at that beauty. That is absolutely <laughs> insane. How, like, immediately what comes to my mind with this 
is pairing that console up with the XL, the Excel here 2.0's console, which is a ba like a, a fob beam overload symphony. Now we can add, uh, hopefully add this. And again, this is what I'm thinking the console is. I mean, it's kind of hard to not think it isn't because of how they're showcasing it. Now this shot right here, look at that. You have the Enterprise or the Odyssey, which of course now is canonized, which is pretty awesome. Now this is a Yorktown variant, but which is fine. But you have the Premonition right there. And I think this is a tier six version skin, or I guess that's how it looks like. Again, I'm not too familiar with that ship. I've seen it online, but that's about it. I'm more familiar with the Achilles because that was actually in a mod, like I said, for Star Trek Starfleet Command 3 that I played that I was able to install, surprisingly enough. And of course, the Typhon here from Invasion. So three ships in this bundle coming to Star Trek Online, which is insane. Captain, you know we're getting this now. Not only did we get this three ships, we I, I don't know what this means. And I'll put the volume up for this. You will become one with the boa. What? Excuse me? That is a massive board cube. This is what I want. Definitely to be in stow to be the like boss of all bosses when it comes to the board. This is, I believe, like a fuse cube or whatever. Captains, let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure of the term that they use, but again, I believe this is from another game. You're gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong on that. Again, my caps, but that that scene alone, it just makes so much sense. You have the past ships, past games coming to meet and team up, of course, with the new ships from Star Trek Online, of course, and the new game Star Trek Online. Well, new-ish, I guess modern, I should say. And then we have this. So I'm not sure the significance of this board cube is if it's a new TFO incoming uh, it's not going to obviously be a ship that we can fly but could you imagine captains could you imagine if they gave us a ship that'd be absolutely insane but I hope that there is a TFO centered on this board fusion cube whatever you call this because that would be absolutely insane so again this is blowing me away i cannot i know i've repeated myself how many times but we're gonna do that because we're super super happy now it says heritage starship bundle available now on pc so of course it's gonna be on pc and then shortly follow up on the console so i really had no ties to these ships when it came to playing them because like I said before in the videos leading up to this, I played Star Trek Starfleet Command 1, 2, and 3 and Bridge Commander. And from Star Trek Starfleet Command, I wanted some ships from that, but I'll take these. 100% I'll take these. Now, what I want to do next in this part of the video is go over where they snipped those parts of the intros of the particular ship. So. We take that off screen there, put this on here. So again, that opening sequence of that video reminded me of this, and we'll just kind of put the volume down here. Of course, then it was Activision. It was two quantum torpedoes, but it was the Sovereign doing the fly, fly through, which was pretty awesome. Now. We're gonna go to the part of the Armada trailer. This is a four minute long intro, but we're gonna go to that specific one because for Star Trek Armada, we got the premonition. The premonition is the one firing that sort of projectile, but in this intro here for Star Trek Armada, It came from the Nebi, and it fired on the Sovereign. This sequence was absolutely amazing when I saw it. You have two Sovereigns going at it, and as you can see, that's where they pulled that sequence from, or the Premonition, or sort of showcasing the Star Trek Armada. Now, when it came to 
the next one, which of course was the Achilles from Star Trek Dominion Wars, this is where they pulled it from. Literally almost the same scene just recreated in Star Trek Online. Put the volume down again. The Cardassian ship chasing the Defiant. And here we have again the USS Achilles just flying in here. to give rescue or to rescue the Defiant, or here showing the Achilles. So they didn't do this, they just showed the USS Achilles coming in, but there's just another shot of it. Oof. Look at these graphics though. And it's not bad, to be honest with you. Not bad. But look at this. This is where they took that shot from. Now again, that deflector is something to be desired by only its engineer, but I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's red, but it's me, you know, kind of the whole warship vibe of this, so I'm okay with it, but again, it gives me the inquiry vibes as well. I'm glad it's not a grill. Now in this shot, it didn't show it firing the quad cannons, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but it did show what we're going to the console hopefully that we're going to be getting from it which is right here this sequence right here which is absolutely insane just quantum torpedoes coming out and you know captains we're totally adding that to our torpedo build so i hope this is going to be a command ship it's kind of my hope but that's the sequence right there of the uss achilles again from star trek dominion wars oh actually did show the quant cannons so it didn't go that long into the intro for Stowe, but that's where it got it. Now, lastly, the Typhon, again, from Star Trek Invasion. This is the scene that they pulled from the intro. We need to delay the board while we marshal our force. Lieutenant Commander so again, Ward, I didn't realize how small it was. But as you can see, it, they recreated that scene in Star Trek Online, but this time, of course, it wasn't the Sovereign it, or the Enterprise. It was the Odyssey or Enterprise F. Now, it didn't show that console firing or that FAW firing, but it did have an emphasis on the Valkyrie fighters, which, of course, this is the first thing that came in the Star Trek Online, which is pretty awesome. So, again, I, I can't express how much my face is hurting from smiling right now so we're going to go back to a video here of this incoming bundle like, like this is crazy I, I, again i'm just gonna have this play as we go this is a three minute video and i love how they took the time to recreate these scenes in Star Trek Online. I'm blown away. I'm, I'm so blown away and so happy that they're doing this and I hope they continue to do this and bring in more ships from the games. I may do a video of just the ships that I want to still see in Stowe and hopefully Dev see it, Dev pay attention to it and brings it, but I love how they're bringing it in in this fashion, but not only in this sort of fashion that it's coming to stow, but it's in a bundle in the C store. That's crazy. That that to me is awesome, and I I feel that that's the best decision to do because a lot of captains grew up with these games. I didn't personally, but a lot of captains. And look at I love how they recreated these scenes. It's absolutely insane. It it just and they all look good, and, and how they recreated uh, they all look good and. Again, those are my speculations on the sort of consoles that they'll come with is what they showcased here. This one by far is my favorite. Of all the sh ships, I think this is the one I'm looking for, or at least it's neck and neck with a Typhon because of that FA console. Again, I'm saying console, it could be something else, I'm not sure, but that's just my guess. When the stats drop, of course, that's what we'll go over it again officially when the stats drop but the time the care the love 
that they put into making this, I, I'm just so appreciative. And to whoever did, props. I'm pretty sure Thomas is involved, Pundis, all the staff there who were involved this thank you i just really want to say thank you because i'm super excited and captains you know right off the bat we're definitely getting this bundle and we're gonna have fun with it here on the bridge and i cannot wait i cannot wait to just mess with these ships because they just look so fun in all honesty again this flying brick i'll take it i'll take the flying brick if it does that now, the one thing that I was just thinking of that maybe when this console is active, your ship can't move. So that might be a thing we'll have to see again. But man, Kathis, you already saw that this was the thumbnail right there. But this is definitely something to look forward to. Captains, let me know your thoughts below. What ship you're looking more forward to? What games you played growing up? If these were any of the games you did play, I'd love to know. And maybe let me know also your guesses on the consoles and what they'll be. But I'm super happy. I know some people won't be now that I think of it because this is another Federation heavy bundle. And I get it, it is. You have the Premonition, you have the Typhon, and of course you have the Achilles. I hope they take this and bring in more ships but not only federation ships but also other ships so we saw cardassian ships there dominion ships why not bring those into because there are captains that are fa fans of those ships as well captains again i thought i would drop this video right after they revealed it just to share my ecs with you here on the bridge so do us a huge favor hit that like button to help the channel out but also comment below on anything that I've said here to comment on. I'm looking forward to seeing and reading and hopefully responding to those. But again, just super happy that this is coming. We'll go over officially the blogs for these ships. So look out for those. Again, subscribe to the YouTube bridge and we'll leave it on this. Yes, yes, yes. And of course this. Live long. Let's go, let's go!